Hey everyone and welcome to your 31 day yoga revolution. It's day 15 and today we practice moving fearlessly. Let's get started. All right, my darling friends, let's begin standing today. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. Place your feet mindfully underneath the hips and then stand up nice and tall and you decide what feels best here to begin. Palms face open, out, ready to receive or maybe a little more grounded, palms at your sides. Take a deep breath in, full loving breath. And then exhale, relax the shoulders, begin to lift your heart, stand up nice and tall. Again, deep breath in, fill up with air. And exhale, just relax into this moment, arrive. And one more time, deep inhale, refreshing breath in. And exhale to land. Land firmly in this moment. So this idea of moving fearlessly, it's a fierce practice today, not gonna lie, but we're gonna do it with a TLC and we're gonna do it in a way that is really striving not necessarily to work out or be strong, but to be present. So the thing about fear is a lot of times it comes from us either dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. If we can really be present and allow ourselves to just experience what's happening in the moment, then I find it's a wonderful practice for kind of living fearlessly. All right, so take a moment here <clears throat> to tap into a nice, strong, fierce, loving breath. So for some, that'll be ujjayi breath. If you're curious about ujjayi breath, there's a whole video on that pranayama practice. Feet hip width apart. I'm gonna inhale, lift up from the pelvic floor, lift up on the toes, stretching through the calves, toning the quads, lifting, 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 pressing into all of your toes, and then exhale to lower down with control. Two more times like that, inhale. Instead of lifting forward, try to lift up. So you're really engaging the bandhas here. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Toning the calves, the quads, lifting up through your bum muscles, and then slowly releasing with control. One more time, move with the breath, big inhale. Lifts you up, draw energy up through that center plumb line. Lean back as if you're leaning against a wall. Take one more breath here, press into your pinky toe and then exhale with control. Awesome, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, stay present with your breath as you forward fold all the way down. First Uttanasana of the practice, bend your knees, find soft, easy movement, stretching out the places that need some love. Listen to your body. Fear all, often takes over when we're not actually paying attention to what our body or what our heart is saying. Have you ever caught yourself doing something you're like, why am I doing this? I know this isn't good for me. I don't need this, I don't want this. It's a habitual thing. So we're practicing moving today, really staying present and considering this practice, this teaching of letting go of fear, moving fearlessly, by simply being in the present moment, allowing what is to be. Take one more breath. And then use your exhale to release the arms. We'll bring the feet together here, arch to arch, and we'll slide the left foot all the way back, come to a nice low lunge. Lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Coming back to this vocabulary here, inhale. Then exhale, rain it down. Take a couple breaths here to just feel it out. Open up through the hips, stretch the legs. If you wanna lift that back knee here, you can. Then loop the shoulders, open your chest. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pull the right hip crease back, half splits. We've been here before, breathe deep, try to find something new, stay present with your breath. Couple breath cycles in and out, in and out. Wunderbar, wunderbar, rolling through that front foot, lift the back knee, inhale, let your heart radiate forward. Then exhale, bring the palms together, 
then plant, then step the right toes back for plank. Find a nice strong plank here, one nice long piece. <laughs> Finding length, maybe rocking front to back to start to warm up the muscles. And then you can lower the knees here if you like. We're gonna lower all the way down to the belly nice and slow. And then inhale, cobra. Big breath lifts you up. And exhale to soften and come down. Beautiful, big breath lifts you up. And exhale to soften and come down. Keep those elbows hugging in one more time. Big breath lifts you up. And exhale to cascade with the breath back down. All right, power up here. Curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps, tone the quads, reach the heels back, really reach. And then on a big inhale, press into the palms, lift up, plank pose. You got this, stick with me. Inhale, stay present. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome, take your doggy for a little walk here. Warming up the body, noticing what it feels like to be alive today. Bring a little gratitude in if you're feeling tired. Be thankful for this opportunity, for your body, for your breath. And then step the right foot up behind the right hand, left foot up behind the left hand. Walk the feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, long, beautiful neck. Exhale to soften and bow. Inhale, reach for the sky, spread the fingertips, lift your heart, and exhale all the way back down, forward fold, moving with your breath. Inhale, lifts you up halfway, reach the crown of the head towards the front, and then exhale, forward fold. Fabulous, fingertips come to the mat. This time we're gonna slide the right toes back, lower the right knee down, and big inhale, lifts you up. Back foot can be uh, pressing into the earth or toes curled under, yogi's choice. Reach the fingertips up, lift up from the pelvic floor, big breath here, smile, full body experience, and then exhale, rain it down. Just stay here for a couple breaths, warming up, stretching, awakening, breathing. And then when you're ready, pull that left hip crease back, send it back, half splits. Find the left toes pointing up towards the sky. Nice active foot here, press into the back foot. See if you can make your inhalations and your exhalations longer. Conscious breathing. And rolling through that front foot. Inhale, open the chest. Let your heart radiate forward. Lift the back knee. Here we go. Bring the palms together. Then plant. Step it back to plank. Strong breath here. Press away from your yoga mat. Make sure you're not collapsing in the upper back body, but rather doming up in the upper back body. Lower the knees halfway if you need to, if you'd like to. Inhale, then exhale, belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. Moving with your breath, big inhale to open your heart. And big exhale to soften and bow. Curl the toes under, press up to plank, big breath. Exhale, downward facing dog, great work. Wonderful, take a big inhale in here. Big exhale, maybe soften the knees. Lift the hip creases up towards the sky. Great, step the right foot up. Step the left foot up, bring the feet together. Inhale, lifts you up halfway. Exhale to soften and bow. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, hands to heart, lengthen the tailbone down. Hug the lower ribs in. Stacking through the spine. Take a moment here to just observe the breath. Then interlace the fingertips. Soft knees, press into your feet. So strong foundation here. Squeeze the legs together. Zip up through the front and press the palms forward. Now notice what's happening in the shoulders. Find that rotation of the upper arm bone here. And then continue the journey, drawing a line with your pinky all the way up and back. Big inhale, long puppy belly here, ground down through the tail. Then exhale, gentle tilt to the right. 
Inhale up to center, gentle tilt to the left. Inhale up to center, break free, have some fun, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, move with your breath. Exhale, soften and bow. Plant the palms, step or hop it back, and then move through a vinyasa here. We'll meet in downward dog, so you can go chaturanga to up dog, belly to cobra, or straight to down dog. Creating a little heat here. Stick with your breath, give the thinking mind a break. Let the conscious breath practice take over. In downward dog, we'll find stillness. Going through your checklist. Stay present. Great, and then step the right foot up. Step the left foot up, bring the feet together. Inhale, lifts you up halfway. Exhale to fold. This time, bend the knees, send the hips back. Bring the belly to the tops of the thighs. Now, don't think about the future, what's happening. Oh, chair pose. Try to really stay present. Trust the practice, trust your experience. Present in the feet, bend the knees. Go even deeper here, sending the hips back, and we'll counter that by sending the fingertips forward. Stay low here. Keep your eyes on your toes here to start as you slowly reach the fingertips up and open up through the chest. Then breathe here, big beach ball, so we're not narrow here, but we keep space in the shoulders. We're sending the hips back, lengthening tailbone down. Fire it up here, you got this big breath in. Then exhale, full, beautiful. Inhale, lifts you up halfway, find something new. Then exhale to release. Step the left toes back, come to a nice low lunge. So you have the option to lower the back knee here as we've been doing. Otherwise, we'll keep it lifted, reaching that left heel towards the back edge as we inhale all the way up, high lunge. Take a second to bend the back knee just to really get your center underneath you. Then big inhale here as you open the palms even wider, again, carrying perhaps a big beach ball up and overhead. Then straighten the back leg, inhale, full body experience here. Exhale, rain it down. Straighten the front leg, lift the right toes, so a little variation of the half splits. Both heels are, uh, excuse me, back heel is lifted, right toes are lifted, both legs are straight. One breath here, and then slowly release back down to your lunge. Beautiful, inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring the palms together, plant, step it back. Straight to downward dog, or you move through a little flow here. So take your time. Slowly building strength, creating heat in the body. All right, big breath in. On the exhale, find a little stillness in downward dog. So good for the body. Keep breathing. Soft bend in the knees, step the right foot up, step the left foot up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Stick with me, bend the knees, send the hips back. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward, up and back. Stay low, get down low. Make sure you can see your big toes and then send your heart forward, gaze forward. Sink a little deeper, you got this. Trust, trust yourself, trust the moment, stay present. Don't decide what's happening or what's going to happen, just be in the now. Big breath. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find length in the neck. And exhale, release. Step the right toes back, keep the back knee lifted this time. You can always lower it as a choice. You're in charge, always. When you're ready, reach the right heel back. Connect to the strength within your center and reach the fingertips forward, up and back. High lunge. Bend that back knee so you get your center right underneath you. And then when you're ready, straighten the back leg and create a breath that fully embodies this pose. So it's just a shape until you really embody the shape, have an experience. Big breath in, long breath out. Big beach ball up and overhead. Inhale in and exhale all the way down. Straighten the front leg, both legs are straight. Lift the left toes, lift the back heel, 
lift from the pelvic floor so we're not crashing into our feet but rather lifting up towards the ceiling take one more breath here you got this and slowly rolling through that foot come back to your low lunge inhale loop the shoulders heart radiates forward exhale plant the palms together core workout here and then press the palms into the earth step it back straight to downward dog or you can flow here moving with the breath In downward dog, take an inhale in. No moment like right now to exhale, release. <sighs> Fabulous, step the right foot up. Step the left foot up, bring the feet together. Inhale, halfway lift, stick with me, stick with me. Exhale, fold. Stay present, bend the knees, send the hips back, fingertips reach forward, up and back. Sink a little lower, you got this. Hold on to your focus. Hold on to your gaze, your breath. Squeeze the legs together. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, reach the fingertips back. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, airplane arms, palms face down as you reach back. One more time, inhale, reach forward, maybe sink a little lower, and then exhale, reach back. Great work, inhale, welcome the heat. Exhale to fold and bow. Inhale lifts you up halfway, smooth it out. Stay calm and exhale, bow. Gorgeous. Inhale, reach for the sky, press into your feet. Move nice and slow, careful. And exhale, hands to heart. Take a second to feel it out. Feel, notice the breath, the power of your practice the power of movement. And then we'll slowly bat the eyelashes open if your eyes were closed. Open. And we'll, we'll keep lifting up through the center plumb line here, so don't collapse. So stay present, all this gorgeous work that you've, you've created. Stay present with that as you lift up through the center channel. We'll slide the left foot back. Come to a nice high lunge here. So you can lower the back knee if you need a little more stability. Again, we can use this action point of bending the left knee to bring our centers right underneath us. Hands together at the heart to lift the sternum up to the thumbs. Beautiful, inhale in. Exhale, send the fingertips back, airplane arms. Heart forward, looking forward, but really staying present. Strong root and foundation here in the lower body. Fingertips go down to come up. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, airplane arms. Crown of the head reaches forward. Nice long line in the spine. Hug the lower ribs in. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, all the way up. You got this. Exhale, airplane arms. Strong and steady. Try to draw your shoulder blades together here as if you were maybe holding a pencil between your two shoulder blades. Pencil, not pencil. Inhale, reach for the sky. Last one. Fierce, strong, squeeze the inner thighs together. Pinch that pencil. <laughs> reach the fingertips back. Pinch that pencil. That's gonna be a good one. Inhale, reach for the sky. We got this. Now check it out, guys. From here, I'm gonna straighten that front leg, straighten both legs, lift the back heel. Then exhale, slowly, slowly reach the fingertips forward. Pull the right hip crease back. Fingertips are gonna come down to frame the right foot. Modified pyramid. Breathe deep. Soften the front leg, soften the back leg. We've been here before. Inhale, half splits. Exhale, step the left foot to the right of your right foot. Crisscross forward fold. Breathe. And then slowly roll it up. Tuck the chin into the chest. Press into all four corners of the feet. Ragdoll as you roll all the way up. Hands come to the heart center. And without looking, feel your feet, feel the earth, trust. This coordination is so important as we come back to mountain pose and squeeze the legs together. Awesome work. Close your eyes, observe the breath. Notice how you feel.
Then keep your heart lifted, open your eyes, slide the right foot all the way back, nice high lunge. Go through your checklist, work it out in your body today. What are you working on? What is your body telling you? Listen, have a little conversation. And then when you're ready, send the fingertips all the way back. Energy in the hands here. Send the fingertips back. Reach, crown of the head forward. So I'm wanting to continue to work on this beautiful engagement of my core by hugging the lower ribs in, all that beautiful work we've done. Pinch that pencil. Reach, create a full body experience. Take your time here, keep working. And then inhale, slowly reach the fingertips down to come up. Big breath here. Exhale, send it back. Energy in the fingertips, right heel is reaching back as the crown of the head comes forward. Front knee over front ankle, pull the left hip crease back, draw energy up from the pelvic floor. Here we go, inhale, reach for the sky, high lunge. Exhale, send the fingertips back. Lengthen through the back of the neck, big breath in, reach up. And exhale, send it back. Again, draw the shoulder blades together, open your chest. Inhale, reach for the sky, inhale. Let's do one more on this side, and exhale, airplane arms. Squeezing your thighs together, lift up from the pelvic floor. Fabulous, inhale, reach for the sky, this time straighten your front leg. Ooh, I bet that feels good. Energy in the fingertips still as you reach up through your right heel. Then pull the left hip crease back, hug the lower ribs in, find support, stability from within. So move nice and slow as you send. This is a new sending Simba over the cliff, the modern 2017 way. Ah. And then slowly all the way down, modified pyramid. Fingertips, hands frame the left foot. Relax your head. And then when you're ready, soften the knees, find that buoyancy as you inhale, exhale, lift up, half splits. Right inner thigh lifts up towards the sky, right toes down. Then slowly soften through your knees again, send the right foot to the left side of your yoga mat, crisscross forward fold. Relax the head. Then ground, connect to your feet, and slowly roll it up. Hands come to heart, look straight forward, head, heart, and pelvis in alignment as you slide the left foot and right foot together, mountain pose. Great work. Deep breath in, exhale to really ground. Fabulous. Walk your feet as wide as your yoga mat. Toes are going to spill off the edge. Inhale, lift. And exhale, slowly. Knees are going to track over the toes, so don't let them come in. Press into the outer edges of the feet. All that awesome awareness in the feet. If you need to take the fingertips out as a little counterweight, that's always a good call. And we send our centers down in space. If the heels come up, no problemo. No problemo at all. We come into this yogi squat, hands either on the earth or palms pressing together. Go on now and take the biggest breath you've taken all day. And whatever variation you're in, see if you can find length, just like you did in all your standing poses from the crown to the tail. And there's an acceptance always in these squats of like, this is where I'm at today. It's the same with balancing postures, yes. It's like, okay, there's no hiding. Just be here now. Take one more breath. And then we'll release and we'll bring the hands to the earth and we're gonna walk the toes together. Knees are gonna open nice and wide. And so we're working towards Bakasana, no fear. Focus forward. Length through the neck, crown of the head, has this awareness reaching energy beyond the body just out so that we're not collapsed here. Then all this wonderful work you've done on wrapping the shoulders, opening the chest. Honestly, this might be your crow pose today and I feel like it's pretty darn beautiful.
if you ask me. To go a little further, you might practice planting the palms thoughtfully, mindfully, wrapping the shoulders again, as I said, and then lifting up through your center. Then you're gonna walk the knees all the way up. So you're creating this nice table for your knees with your arms. And a lot of people complain about the weight on the arms. Well, we're, we're gonna use all that amazing inner strength we've cultivated in our core, but also just energetically of lifting that moving from a place of connect to just rock gently front to back. So don't worry about lifting your toes. Gaze is forward, neck is nice and long. I'm not collapsing in my shoulders or in my upper back body, but I'm using all that work of doming through the upper back body to play here. And then of course, to each his own, we'll rock a little front to back. Stay focused on the breath. There's my creaky old floor. And then maybe we lift one toe and then the other. Maybe you one day work to straighten the arms, but just play a little here. And if you notice that you stop breathing, that's a good sign to release, check in, and start with buoyant breath once again. So play here a little bit. We're clawing through the fingertips. We're finding that suctioning up through the palm. Just a couple moments of playtime here. Don't get frustrated. Just stay present. Gaze forward, draw the navel inward and upward. Listen to the sound of your breath. Life is good. Press into your fingerprints. And we'll meet back in that squat. Take your time. Great work. So fierce. And so sometimes it's really not about mastering the pose, right? In fact, can I say all the time? It's about how do you deal with your frustrations? How do you celebrate the joyful feelings? How do you celebrate the not so joyful feelings? Swim the fingertips around. Come on down to your back. Come on down to yoga town. I almost called this whole thing yoga town, by the way, but opted for the revolution. So. Our inside title can be Yoga Town. Come to your back, knees up towards the sky. When you get there, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath the heart space and walk the heels in for bridge pose. Grab the outer edges of your mat or really just root the hands down to the earth and then press into your foundation. Start at the tail, here we go. Imagine you're squeezing a block between your inner thighs. So keep the knees stacked over the ankles best you can and lifting up through the chest. You can interlace the fingertips behind or keep a grip on your yoga mat or palms to the earth. Big breath here. And then lift your chest to your chin and then lift your chin to the sky. It should feel amazing in your lower, uh, the cervical spine, your lower part of your neck. <laughs> it's hard to talk and do yoga sometimes. Press into your foundation again. The action is to lift the chest to the chin gently and then gently lift the chin to the sky, gaze up. One more breath, squeeze that imaginary block between your legs and then release, break feet free. <laughs> break feet and slowly roll it down. Wonderful, open the knees wide, bring the soles of the feet together. Left hand comes to the heart, right hand to the belly. These two deep places of listening. Close your eyes, take a big inhale, and on an exhale, relax the weight of your body completely and fully. Nice work. Really, no words could describe how amazing it is that we are doing yoga together right now, that we are doing 31 days of yoga, that we are carving out time and space to do the work so that we can move through life with ease and with love, feeling empowered and capable of healing or dealing <laughs> with what life throws at us. You can stay here, you can slowly begin to extend the legs long, maybe windshield wiper the toes. And you can open the arms if your body's craving a little hug or a little twist. 
anything at all, take time now to listen to your body. If you're ready for stillness, relaxation, take a deep breath in and use your exhale to surrender. Surrender to that which you cannot control. Don't be afraid. Do the work. Be the best version of yourself and trust that all will be well. Or as mom says, everything is as it should be. I'll see you tomorrow. We have an awesome practice tomorrow, but for now, enjoy the gifts and relish in the sensations of today. Namaste. Mm -hmm.